I, 36 M, snooped and found out that my wife, 33 F, of three years has been living some kind of sad double life and is not who I thought she was. Since my wife and I got married three years ago, things have been, off. I know that people grow and change with time, but around our wedding, my wife changed drastically. She bleached her dark brown hair blonde right before the ceremony, and I honestly thought I was in the wrong church for a split second when she came down the aisle. We moved into our house right after the honeymoon, and she went into full domestic mode. We'd shared cleaning duties before, but once we moved into the house, she became insistent on doing everything before I could even get to it. Since this is our first house, I thought it was some kind of homeowner nesting thing, but it never stopped. Her hair color is none of my business and I think most people would be happy not to have to clean, so I honestly didn't really think much of either of those things at the time. The big thing has always been how closed off she got after the wedding. When we were dating, she'd tell me long rambling stories about her feelings and rant to me when she was upset and all that, and I liked hearing about what was going on inside her head. After the wedding, that stopped pretty abruptly. If I ask her how her day is, she will only ever tell me that it was fine. Or super. She doesn't talk to me about her feelings anymore, ever, even when I explicitly ask how do you feel about X. She also stopped telling me about anything important that happened to her. About a year after we got married, her grandfather was peacefully deleted. Did she tell me she'd lost her grandfather? No. She told me that she had to go to a conference for work on the other side of the country, which I thought nothing of. On the second day she was gone, her older brother texted me to tell me that my in-laws had really missed seeing me at the funeral. When I called her to ask why in the ever-loving hell she didn't tell me, and then lied about it, all she would say was I didn't want to trouble you. You have a lot on your plate. After that, she went on a couple of spontaneous family trips. She's really, really close to her family, so the first time she said she was going camping with her brother at their alma mater, I didn't think a lot of it other than to be slightly disappointed and confused that I wasn't invited, because her brother's cool and the three of us go camping together a lot. But the second time, I started hearing alarm bells. I'd like to say I'm a more secure man, Reddit, but after the second spontaneous family trip, my wheels started spinning and I started to think that maybe she was cheating. This was a weird insecurity in the back of my mind for a while, since she wasn't showing any other big signs of cheating, she wasn't guarded about her phone and hadn't changed her routine slash appearance. A few weeks ago, she told me she was pregnant. I was over the moon about it until I asked her how many weeks along she was, and she nonchalantly said about 12 or 13. She'd been pregnant for like three months before she even bothered to tell me. She's not really showing at all, and she doesn't usually drink, so I had been completely in the docking dark. I honestly hadn't even suspected. That was kind of it for me. I was sure she was cheating, and that it wasn't my kid. I thought there was no possible way that a woman would keep her pregnancy a secret from her husband for three months. So I snooped. Yes, I know I was wrong, but I wanted proof that she'd been having an affair before I moved out. One of my best buddies from college is a divorce attorney, and when I asked him what I should do, he sent me the info for a keylogger. I installed it on my wife's laptop and was prepared for the worst. Now, I feel like what I found is somehow worse than her cheating. I didn't find any steamy messages, but I found out that she keeps a diary in a Word document that she writes in every day. I know I should have just stopped once I knew she wasn't cheating, but once I saw my name in her diary, I couldn't stop. I read all of it. All seven separate documents, going back to way before we'd even met. Turns out she's not cheating. She's sad as duck, hates herself, and has absolutely no trust in me. All of the stuff I'd been confused and bothered by has some kind of sad, self-loathing explanation. She hates having blonde hair, but she writes I know he'd divorce me if I went back to being a brunette, because wives are supposed to be blonde almost every week. The wives are supposed to be thing is tangled up in everything. She thinks wives are supposed to be quiet, which is why she doesn't talk to me anymore.
She thinks wives are supposed to make things easier for their husbands, not harder, which is why she didn't tell me when her grandfather was peacefully deleted. It just goes on and on and on. She didn't tell me when she got a huge promotion and a raise because he'd leave me in a heartbeat if he knew I made more money than he does. Men can't handle that. It hurt to know that she thinks of me as some kind of one-dimensional 1950s husband, and I've been racking my brain to think of anything I could have done to make her think this way. What I can't handle is that she'd lied about the big stuff. I honestly don't know if I can forgive her for not telling me about the miscarriages. The spontaneous family trips were actually her miscarrying two of our children, one at five weeks, the other at about ten. She went and stayed with her parents while she was recuperating, and her brother and sister came to support her. But not me. I didn't get to be there for her, because she thinks I would leave her immediately if I knew that she deleted our children. She's convinced that she caused both miscarriages because she smoked pot for a long time before we got married. For what it's worth, it sounds like her family tried both times to get her to tell me, but she wouldn't. She finally told me about this pregnancy because her parents threatened to tell me she didn't. I'm just absolutely ducking dumbfounded. I don't even know what to think right now. I'm just so baffled because everything she says about me in her diary is insanely nice. She goes on for pages and pages about how much she loves me and how she thinks I'm her soulmate and how she would do anything for me. I just can't understand why she thinks that I would leave her. Knowing that she's spent the last three years walking on eggshells around me, convinced that I would leave her at the drop of a hat is just so, confusing and awful. I feel like our marriage is some kind of lie. The woman I thought was self-confident and ready to take on the world is actually full of self-loathing and really, really, really sad. I don't know her at all. She's been suffering silently with sadness long before we met. She has no faith in me, no trust. She thinks that every hug and kiss I give her and every I love you I say is a lie. I just don't know what to do. She obviously needs serious help, but I don't know how to get it for her. I can't tell her that I read her diary. If she has zero trust in me now, I can't even imagine what she'd think if she knew if I read six years worth of her private thoughts. I feel like I need to get my in-laws on board somehow, but I don't know what to say to them. I know I can't ignore this, but I feel like any move is the wrong move. What do I do? TL, didn't read, thought wife was cheating so I snooped and read her diary. She's actually insanely sad, has secretly miscarried two of our children, and doesn't trust me one iota. How do I get her help without making things worse? Edit, after I posted this I realized I'd kind of omitted the deal with the keylogger. It's worse than it sounds, honestly. After it showed me what she'd written that day I went onto her computer while she was sleeping and opened up Word. I saw that she had several documents called Diary Year 10 so I downloaded them all onto a flash drive and read them at work. I went too far, I know. Hey guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would really help me out, thanks. I think I'd consider discussing everything you know with a professional, and see what they suggest the next step is. Counseling. Right now. She needs way more help than you or her family can give her. My, 25F, boyfriend, 26M, cheated on me while on we're on vacation with friends. I don't know what to do. I need to lay out the relationships. Me, Emily, and my ex-boyfriend, Paul, Kara and Tyler are boyfriend and girlfriend. Ethan and Olivia are boyfriend and girlfriend Jamie and Hank are boyfriend and girlfriend. Kenny, Samantha and other Emily are all single. My friends and I all decided to go up to a cabin Kenny owns. He works at the ski lodge not too far here teaching people how to ski among other things. There's 11 of us staying in this cabin he owns. Two of us share a room and he has the sofa. He invited us all up here to have a nice time before we all go back to work. A couple of days ago most of us went to have lunch at a restaurant. Kara stayed back claiming she was coming down with a cold. My boyfriend claimed he was still tired from the day before and didn't sleep well. He wanted to see if he could catch a few extra hours. 
When we all returned from lunch there was some sort of fight going on between Ethan and Paul. It was a screaming match of some kind. Kenny and Tyler got between them trying to get them to calm down. It came out that Ethan walked in on Kara and my boyfriend having romance. It turned out to be true because Kara broke down trying to explain it to Tyler. Tyler, Ethan and Paul all started to fight again. Kenny was trying to get them to not get physical with each other. God knows where Hank was because he's the biggest guy in our group and no one would really mess with him. He would have come in handy to stop the guys punching each other. Kenny really didn't hit anyone. He was more trying to get them to stop it. Hank almost got into a fight with Paul when he arrived because he did give Kenny a split lip. Kenny and Hank are best friends. You get the point. The guys were going at each other. When the dust settled Paul was trying to explain to me what happened. Kara was trying to explain to Tyler. They've apparently been ducking each other for over three months. It all started the night I went home sick from a party. They apparently had feelings for each other and was scared it would implode the friend group. They were damn ducking right it did. Ethan and Olivia. Paul and Kara, Tyler and other Emily all left the cabin. There's five of us here and no one really knows what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm heartbroken. My boyfriend was cheating on me with my friend. Most of my friends imploded over the whole situation. The vacation is pretty much ruined. My relationship is over. My boyfriend was screwing a close friend of mine. I don't know what to do when I get home. Paul told me he's be gone, but I don't know. Too long, didn't read, boyfriend cheated on me on vacation with a friend and three months before this. It caused this huge physical fight between the guys in my group. I'm heartbroken because my relationship and most of my friend group imploded over this. 1. Yeah block Paul out of your life completely. That's totally over. 2. Block Kara out of your life completely. 3. Try to move on with the friends who've survived this, but this is definitely going to cause an enormous rift. Really sorry you're dealing with this. Go no contact with Kara and Paul. Focus on your actual friends for support. This is a really poopy situation but you have to try and just face it head on and deal with your feelings.